Hi, my name is Scott Shepard and I am the Technology Integrationist at Watertown Senior High School, Watertown, South Dakota, and this is a video that uh, begins to introduce you to how Panoramio and Google Earth interact with each other. This is a photo that I took in Seattle about a year ago and because it was geotagged, which is to say it had uh, locational information that was embedded in the photo, latitude and longitude. I was able to submit it to Panoramio and after um, consideration by the Panoramio people, and notice this highlighted um, area, this photo is selected for Google Earth, because it met their criteria, it was accepted in Google Earth. And what that really means is that if I go to Google Earth, and here we are about 7,000 miles over Seattle, and zoom in, I should be able to see that photo. And not only will I see that photo, but I will also see photos that other people have taken too and have had accepted by Panoramio. In fact, every one of these blue boxes is a photo that someone has taken of the Space Needle and have had accepted. And there's my photo. So if I click on that, there's the photo. And if I proceed to click on any one of these blue squares, I'll see a photo that someone else has taken as well. Now the advantage of this is that the individual can add to the information that someone else can see when they're viewing a particular place on Earth. Something else about Google Earth that you may not have known is that if I would click on any one of these cameras that show up, uh, and we're going to take this one right here, we have the ability to fly in and stand at ground level. Now this is a project that Google is conducting. Uh, cars are driving around the country with a special camera mounted on the roof taking photos as they drive around. And this happens to be right next to the Space Needle. So if I wanted to see the Space Needle at ground level, all I have to do is uh, use my mouse to uh, navigate. I could also use controls that are up here as well. And I think that that's pretty cool. Uh, this has been a little bit controversial because occasionally people show up in these shots, as you might imagine, and uh, not everybody necessarily wants to be uh, on Google Earth. And if I'm ready to go back up for the bird's eye view, all I have to do is click Exit Photo and zoom back out. And so that's a brief tutorial on what all of those little blue boxes are about when you're looking at Google Earth. Now if the blue boxes aren't displaying on your version of Google Earth, check my next video, which is Panoramio and Google Earth Part 2, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Thanks for watching.